Hello there. My name is Mr. Blubberbutter. And I'm playing Vanish. Again. I've played this on and off for a while. Um, I think I made two videos of it. This one's always kind of stuck in my head. I'm playing it a lot, although you have to take breaks from it. It's not one you can just play for hours and hours on end. It's really terrifying, though. Although I think I'm starting to get a little used to it, so that doesn't scare me. Uh, stop. I don't care. Like, it's not getting to me as it used to originally. So hopefully that means I'll have a more successful playthrough and I might be able to get to the end, you know? Well, this is... eventful. Um, and some of the other times I played, I've grabbed glow sticks and keys. And, uh... So I think there's a locked door around here. I, I ran into it once, I think. But I had no key, so I couldn't unlock it. Oh. So, it didn't really work out too well. I've never had the two at the same time. But I have run into a locked door, and I have had the keys. I don't know what's on the other side. I think I saw a ladder or something. So, uh, I'm not sure where that leads me. I'm hoping that that's not, like, the first part to this, and... Hank, I'm not sure what's going on. I've read all these notes before, so I'm not... I'm not even going to keep reading them. Uh, but I'm hoping that, like, there's just, like, one floor to this, and I don't have to worry about... About, um... Climbing the ladder to another floor. That's not very helpful. Especially since the game rewrites itself. Oh no. Oh good. I found a dead ends. Monsters typically spawn near them. Which is a really douchey decision on the part of... Um... What was that? These sounds, by the way, are phenomenal. Granted, most of them mean absolutely nothing. Um, sounds are not usually an indicator that something's going to happen. But they're meant to scare you. And they do very well. I encourage you to play this with headphones or something. Something a little better than just normal speakers and try to emerge emerge, immerse yourself in this game and it'll be one of the most terrifying experiences you've ever had. Maybe. Everybody gets scared of different things. People have different types of fear. This game works really well for me. I also really hate chasers. I find them very stressful. And since I find myself running from these weird mole rat butt mutations I tend to be running an awful lot of the time. Which, although I hate it, it does make it scarier. Let's go to the fog. I don't... You don't can't see what's on the other side of the fog. I just... I just know that one of these times, I'm going to walk into the fog, and one of those rat-ass monsters is going to spawn... Oh, what are you doing? He's just sitting there on the floor. I'm going to leave him alone. I see no reason to disturb his slumber. What is the whispering saying? Oh, anyway, what I was saying is I know one of those monsters is going to spawn chasing me as soon as I go through the fog. It'll be one of the most terrifying experiences of my life. Aside from the time I almost got ran over by a semi. But that's an entirely different matter. Uh, that... My, um, ooh. my, um, transmission was breaking, and I couldn't make it switch to the next gear, and it wasn't letting me go more than, uh, yeah, I've already seen that note. Oh, nope. I couldn't make my car go over 40 miles per hour, and we got back onto the road, and then a semi came over the hill behind us, and there was already a semi next to us. And we couldn't pull over, and we thought we were going to die. My best friend was with me, and I would have felt really bad, because I would have been responsible, kind of, even though it wasn't really my fault. Basically, it just wasn't a great experience. I can't run while I'm into these tunnels things. You know, the, these creatures dug out these holes, so it seems like they could be crawling in after me, but I played, I'm not, you probably saw my other video, 
If not, you can check it out at the very end. But they don't walk through these things. They just kind of run at the very end. I didn't get him to run at, at the tunnel straight on, so maybe not. But he was, like, standing right here running. And then when I peeked out close enough, he broke my neck. Made me stand in the inside of the wall. Which was totally realistic, by the way. Just as realistic as a randomly generated tunnel that changes as you're walking through them. That's gonna break. Yay. Oh, no! You're still there. Also, why did I run? I was gonna... Attract him. Well, there can only be one, right? Surely they wouldn't sandwich me between two of them. Shut up. No one asked you, Steam. Steam. Speaking of Steam, Steam is... Great. Wait. I thought I saw something over there. Oh. There's another gate. Does this attract the monsters when I, like, do that? Or is that just supposed to scare me? I don't know. I don't really care. I'm gonna run through here anyway. Yay for fog and... Oh, don't run. I didn't mean to run. Shut up. No one asked you. Oh. I wonder if I can sneak past him. Because I think they're blind. Nope. I'm not making any noise. Is he digging? No, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm running! I'm running! I'm safe! Oh, man! He was so close. I don't think I'm going to make it. Run! 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 He's coming after me. I am left clicking. He was still there. How did I get away? Is he gonna come anyway? Well, that freaked my, uh, character out. I guess he's not. What happens if I try to go down there? get this. Pull it up. Yeah, there you go. I can't throw it or anything. Caution. Do not lean on rail. I won't. What's in there? I died. What am I being dragged? He didn't kill me. Really? I mean, I guess I should have expected that. But oh, I, I did die rather suddenly. Couldn't I have at least had a falling death animation? Give me a sound or something. They did so disgustingly well with the neck snap. I don't know how long I've been playing, but I probably don't have time. Every time I've played this, it's ended up going longer. I don't think I've ever played a level of this that hasn't gone under 10 minutes. I'm not sure if this one did or not. Um, but the last few times I played, they were like half an hour. I didn't get very far anyway, but I mean, I've, 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 I've gotten really good at surviving. Oh, well. Um, I guess I don't have much to say about this. I'm going to stop right now at... I'm getting tired of this game. It's really good, though. I encourage you to give it a try. It, it is great. It's just, uh... It stresses me out. There we go. Opening sequence. I don't usually show you because when you start it, it kind of... lags a bit, and Fraps doesn't like that when it happens to my computer. Excuse me. To my computer. And it makes so the sound is... Uh, the, the, the audio is way off from the visual. And has ruined some of my videos that I have not been able to post. So uh, I guess I'll see you later, and you all have a great day. Bye.